Amen. Praise God. We give God the honor and the glory. We thank him for his grace and his mercy. We praise God for who he is in our lives. Amen. Hello. Welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a great pleasure to be back here with Christ Family Radio Network. I just pray the Lord will be your portion. Amen. I thank God that he will be your help. He will be your peace and your joy. Amen. We just give God the honor and the glory. We thank him for the power of the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. But this word today, that's exactly where we're headed. We're going to minister from the place of speaking the word. Amen. Speaking the power of the word of God over your life. Amen. Expecting an automatic breakthrough, an automatic deliverance. Amen. Automatic healing with the word of God. Just releasing the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen. That the word of God will be your help. Amen. That he will be your deliverer. Amen. That he will be your covering. Amen. Your shield of faith to quench every fiery dart of the wicked one. Amen. It's time to go into war. It's time to allow the word of God to do his work. Amen. And we just have to stand back and just watch the hand of God move. Amen. Watch the hand of God move for in our favor. Move for our favor in the name of Jesus because he is the God of our salvation. He is the God of our deliverance. Amen. Praise God. I just thank God for being back here, here just bringing forth the gospel of Jesus Christ. Just want to minister to you tonight. Amen. Just want to bring just some life with the word of God. Just allow the word of God to minister to you. And, you know, for the past couple weeks, I have been um, ministering from a place of obedience with God, just obeying and hearing God, just just allowing his prophetic word to minister to me. Amen. Just want to bring forth his word and not something that I planned or something that I rehearsed. Amen. It's none of me, but all of God. Amen. Just operating out of that place of obedience, allowing the Holy Spirit to flow in my life. Amen. To flow. Amen. Just to flow out of the, my belly, out of the belly of living waters. Amen. Let it be an overflow in the atmosphere. Amen. Let us trust in God and believe in God, believe in everything that he say he's going to do and what he has already done. Amen. And these things only will have manifest when we put our mind on Christ. Amen. When we begin to seek the kingdom of God, begin to believe in his grace and his mercy for our lives. Amen. Beginning to confess his word daily. Amen. Giving God more than 10 minutes, but giving God an hour or an hour more through praise and worship. Amen. Just watching God lift the enemy off our backs. Amen. Breaking the enemy's back. Amen. Destroying the assignments in the world of darkness over our lives when we begin to confess the blood of Jesus. Amen. Because the blood of Jesus is our help. Amen. The blood of Jesus is our portion in the name of Jesus. And we got to begin to push. Amen. Push with the word of God. Begin to confess power. Amen. Confess the consuming fire of God. Amen. Into the enemy's camps. Amen. Into their camps and uh, destroy their assignments. We have to strategically go against the plans and the assignments of the enemy. Amen. With the word of God. We can't react no more with our emotions. We got to respond back with the word of God. Amen. We cannot allow the enemy to manifest in our flesh anymore because the wages of sin is death. Amen. The flesh represents sin and sin is nothing but death. Amen. So we just give God the praises right now. We just give God the honor. We just give God the glory. We just thank him for his grace and his mercies. Amen. Because we all need his grace. We all need his mercies. Amen. We all need his help. Amen. Because God is our deliverer. God is our truth. Amen. He is our buckler. Amen. When we gird our loins of about with truth, amen, and we shut our feet upon the preparation of gospel peace, we allow his Holy Spirit to begin to minister to us, amen, teaching us how to overcome the works of darkness, amen, teaching us to destroy the assignments that he has planned against us 24-7, amen, so it requires fasting, and it requires your obedience, it requires you to spend time in the word of God, amen, beginning to allow the word of God to minister to to you, man of God, woman of God, allowing the word of God to minister to you in the areas where you may be struggling right now. And I'm telling you right now, there's nothing like speaking the word of God 
over your circumstances, speaking the word of God over your children. Amen. Beginning to worship God and honor God in everything that you say and everything you do. Amen. Because he is faithful. God is faithful and he is just. God is true. Amen. And we just thank him right now. Amen. So we just give God the honor and the praises right now. And we thank you for everything that he is continually to do in our lives. And let's just get into a place of worship. And when we get back, I'm going to just go over some prayer points, speaking the blood of Jesus, reading the book of Psalms. And we're just going to allow the Holy Spirit to flow as we begin to go forth. Amen. 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 Praise God. We give God the honor and the glory. We just thank him. Amen. We thank God that he is the beauty of the Lord. Amen. We thank him. Amen. We thank God for his mercies and his grace upon our lives. May God be our provision. Amen. May God be our hope. May God be our portion in the name of Jesus. We give God the honor and the glory. We thank him for today. We thank him for his many benefits that he has given us. Amen. Through his son, Jesus Christ. We thank him for the power of the blood of Jesus that we have received through our testimony. Because we have confessed Jesus Christ as our Lord and as our Savior. Amen. Jesus Christ is our deliverer. He is our help. Amen. We lack no good thing in Christ Jesus. Amen. Our Father said that he will provide for 
for us. Our Father gave us a promise. Amen. God said that he, he is our shepherd and we shall not want. God said he will be with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. We need not to trouble, be troubled in our heart. Amen. Because Jesus Christ said, let not your heart be troubled because he has go. He has gone. Amen. To prepare a place for us. Amen. Praise God. There's so many scriptures that are being fulfilled right now. Fulfilled right now. Amen. We just got to be believing God for the fulfillment in our lives. Amen. By agreeing and aligning ourselves with the word of God. And that's what it requires. We have to align ourselves and agree with the word of God. Allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us. Amen. Begin to allow his grace to overflow in our lives. And right now, that's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for the grace of God to begin to flow in every area of my life. Even in times of trouble, I need his grace. Amen. Even when things are going good, I still need his grace and I need his mercy. Amen. Because God is good. Amen. God is loving. His loving kindness is extended to us. Amen. Day and night, 24-7, God withholds no good thing from us because he loves us. Amen. He loves us unconditionally. Amen. Because he is our rock. Amen. God is our fortress. Amen. He deliver us. Amen. For the word of God says in Psalm 71 verse 4, deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Amen. That is my testimony today. That is my prayer. And I pray that you will agree with me today that God will deliver us. Amen. Deliver us. Oh God, deliver us out of the hand of the wicked. Who is being wicked right now in your life? Who is oppressing you right now? Huh? Who is he or who is she? Who are they? Amen. Don't you know that God is able? God is able to deliver us out of the hand, out of the hands of the unrighteous and cruel man. Yeah. For the word of God says, for thou art my hope, O Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. Amen. So I don't know how long you've been serving God, but I've been serving God for a long time from my youth. And I know this day. This is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it because I put my trust in him. I put my hope in him. Amen. For the word of God say now faith is the substance of things hope for. Amen. So I believe in him because he is a God of my salvation. Amen. For the word of God say that he would deliver me. He will not forsake me. Amen. Even when my enemies speak against me and when they lay wait for my soul and take counsel together. Amen. God say he has not forsaken me and he will not permit them to persecute me. Amen. For he will deliver me. For there's no one else out there that's going to do for me what God has already done. Amen. And that is bringing deliverance, automatic deliverance, automatic breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. For my God is not far from me. Oh, my God, make haste and help me. Amen. The word of God say to call on God. Amen. Cry out to God. Amen. God will confound your enemies. Amen. He will confound those who comes to consume your soul. Amen. He will consume your adversaries. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. God will consume them. Dishonor will be their portion that seek after your help in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We praise God for that word. Amen. We give God praise. Amen. For praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. For I will bless him at all times for righteousness and salvation is continually in my mouth. And that's the key thing. We got to continually confess righteousness, continually confess salvation of the Lord. Let the salvation of the Lord continually be in our our mouth, no matter what the circumstances or the situation may be, no matter how many fiery darts they aim at you, pull on the shield of faith to quench them, amen, to quench every fiery dart because God is our shield, amen, God arise and let our enemies scatter, amen, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we just give you the praises, God, we just glorify you, and Father, I just make my declaration be made known to you, Abba Father, because Abba Father, you are my deliverer in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Abba Father, you know all my problems. You know everything, Father God. You know what comes to bind me. You know what comes to torment me and defile me and harass me. But Abba Father, I thank you for the power of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that loosed me from every dark spirit. The blood of Jesus that loosed me from every evil influence. The blood of Jesus that delivers me and my household from every satanic bondage. The blood of Jesus that loosens me. Hey, loosens my children, my finances, my properties and all that contends me and who contends with me in Christ Jesus. I thank you, Father God, that you did not give me a spirit of fear, but you gave me a spirit of power, love and a sound mind. Did God give you that? Just begin to confess. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Minister Jacqueline, he gave me a spirit of power. He gave me a spirit of love. He gave me a spirit of sound mind. Whom shall I fear? Huh? Whom shall I fear a thousand shall fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh unto me. It shall not come nigh unto me and my household, unto my children, all who contend with me. Abba Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that I command all such spirits to leave me, all such spirits to leave me in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of torment. I command the spirit that comes to defile and harass me to go. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We need to speak the word of deliverance over our lives. Amen. We have the right to speak deliverance and salvation for God is our help. He is our strength. Amen. He is our rod and our staff. He is our comforter. Amen. He's our healer. He's our teacher. He is our provider. I like no good thing in God. I just want to minister to you, whoever's listening right now. There's no lack. There's no lack in God. God said he will provide. But you got to bind those satanic powers as constantly harassing and tormenting you. Constantly defiling your mind with evil thoughts and evil imagination. Don't you know God is mighty and strong and pulling down every evil imagination? Every negative thing that comes to exalt itself against his word? Don't you know how to speak and minister to yourself? Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse three and five. Just go through the word and begin to speak life. Amen. Go to war. Don't you know when you begin to pray, you are already starting war. Don't you know that when you begin to release a word of life, you are already engaging in war. Your prayer is the battle. Your prayer is what's going to open the doors that the enemy keeps closed. Your prayer is going to tear down the heavens. Your prayer is going to bombard the heavens. And bring deliverance to many. Amen. Amen. You got to believe in God and believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. You got to believe that Jesus Christ's blood redeems you out of the curse of the enemy. Out of his hand. Out of the curse. Amen. Of the enemy. Out of the hand of the devil. Hey. You got to confess that the blood of Jesus cleanses you from all sins. Because you believe that you have been forgiven according to Romans 10.10. 10, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, thou shalt be saved. When everything else fails, remember your confession. Remember your confession to God. When you're feeling stressed or worried and you're putting yourself ahead of the problem instead of waiting on God, go back to the word of God. Go back to your deliverer, your salvation. Remember that God justified you. He made you righteous through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. He made you whole. He healed you. Amen. The God of Israel healed you. Surely there is a balm in Gilead. Hey, (laughs) praise God. Hallelujah. We just thank God. Amen. We just thank God for the sanctification of his word, for his word is holy and his word will set you apart. Amen. His word is holy. His word will set you apart. Amen. Just remember that your body is a temple of the most high living God, the most high living God who set his Holy Spirit within you. Amen. You got to keep yourself holy for the word of God say, be holy for I am holy. Don't let the devil contaminate you with foolishness. Don't let the devil stress you out and torment you and harass you with past events. God has already forgiven you. Accept the forgiveness. Repent. Turn from your wicked ways. If you're still struggling with that, forgive yourself. Pray and ask Abba Father to teach you how to forgive yourself the way he has already forgiven you. 
Hey, Abba Father, we just give you the praises, God. We thank you, Father God, for whoever's listening right now, that they will begin to receive your redemption power through the blood of Jesus, that they will begin to acknowledge that they are cleansed and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. That they will believe and confess that they are delivered and set free, that they belong to Jesus Christ. Their body and their soul and their spirit belongs to you, Abba Father. Oh, whoever you are, I speak the blood of protection over you right now. I speak that the blood of Jesus protects you from all evil. All evil, no matter the weapon, it cannot prosper. No matter the words that they have already spoken, it will backfire and go back to the center. Go back to the pits where it came from in the mighty name of Jesus. God is your deliverer. God is your healer. He delivered the children out of the land of Egypt. Amen. Even when the enemy came to oppose them, God sent his consuming fire to consume them in their camps. Amen. He is the same God. He hasn't changed. He is the same today, yesterday and forevermore. God is holy, 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 holy. Abba Father, we thank you right now for the power of the blood of Jesus. Abba Father, we thank you that Satan no longer has power over me, has power over anyone that is listening to the sound of my voice, whoever you are. He no longer has place in you, no longer has place in me. Why? Because the blood of Jesus is our portion. The blood of Jesus speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Hey. We have atonement with the blood of Jesus. We are atoned with his blood. Amen. We are delivered through the promises and the benefits of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, our deliverer, our help, our help. Amen. I pray that today God will assign your helpers today. And God will assign the angels of the Lord to you today. That they will help you and deliver you and pull you out of the pits, just like he did for Joseph. Amen. Praise God. We give you the glory, Abba Father. We worship you, Abba Father. We bless your name, Father God. Whoever you are right now, just begin to renounce, renounce Satan, renounce his demonic powers, renounce and declare yourself liberated and free from out of the hands of the enemy. Renounce him now in the mighty name of Jesus. Renounce him and his host right now completely. Amen. Declare right now you are free. You are no longer defeated in the mighty name of Jesus. You got to bless yourself. And the way you bless yourself is blessing God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And that's what it's all about. You got to bless God to receive the blessing. Amen. You got to bless him every day. But you cannot make allegiance constantly with the enemy because he hates you. He despises you because you are rooted and grounded in the word of God. So break your allegiance with him right now. Renounce the works of darkness. Amen. Repent and turn from your wicked ways in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will deliver you. God will set you free because you are a believer. Amen. Jesus said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Are you a believer? What are the signs that they will cast out devils in my name? Hey, Mark 16, verse 17. That's what the word say. Apply the word. The word is applicable. You know, you, all you got to do is just release the word and just allow it to saturate you and soak you right now. Just get soaked in the word of God. Get soaked in the blood of Jesus. Just say, I soak myself. I soak myself. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. I soak my children in the blood of Jesus. I soak my marriage in the blood of Jesus. Whatever con- concerns you right now, just begin to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus. Hey, if you have financial problems, I don't know what your situation is, but I know the blood of Jesus will deliver you and set you free. I know the blood of Jesus will speak a better word for you than the blood of Abel. I know the blood of Jesus will deliver you and set you free completely. He will deliver you from the snare of the father. Amen. And you will not be defeated no more because Jesus Christ is your help. Amen. He has given his angels over you to he that he has assigned them. Amen. At least you dash your foot against a stone. They will bear you up in their hands. That's the type of God we serve. He is our dwelling place. He is our hiding place. Amen. Amen. He is the rock that is higher than I. Amen. 
Praise God. We just give God the honor and the glory. I just want to encourage you because we claim that we are believers, but we're not confessing his word. Confess his word. Confess his promises. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God? Did you confess that? And if you did, you need to exercise your authority right now. Exercise the authority that he has given you through his word. Luke ten nineteen. For the word of God say, greater is he that is in me. And he that is in the world, you got to begin to confess and and begin to shout your deliverance and begin to confess that God has delivered you out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and the cruel man. Amen. For thou art my hope, God. Oh, Lord, God, thou art my trust from my youth. I believe in you, God. I trust in you, God. You are the God who delivered the children out of Egypt, out of bondage. Hey, you are the same God. Nothing about you has changed, Abba Father. Forgive me, Father God, for doubting you. Have mercy upon me, Abba Father. Have mercy upon me, Abba. And I thank you right now for the power of the blood of Jesus. I praise you for your word, Father God. I thank you that your word is my help. I thank you, Lord, your word is my help. I thank you, Lord, that you are my peace. You are my joy. I praise you for all things to your son, Jesus Christ. Don't you, whoever's listening right now, just give God the praises. Amen. Just glorify your king. Amen. Exalt him. Amen. Lift him up. Amen. Worship him. Amen. Show forth your praises unto him. Amen. For he is your deliverer. He is your salvation. He is your help. Amen. Bless his name. Amen. God said he will never forsake you. Amen. He said he will be with you. He will be your strength. Amen. He will be there for you, even for your generation to come. Amen. God will increase you. Amen. God will increase you. He will multiply you and he will bless you. Amen. God will comfort you. Amen. He's riding his staff. He gave to you. Amen. Yea, though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, we shall not fear no evil for God art with us and he is with us. Well, wherever we go, whatever we do, whatever we say, even if we hurt someone or we said inappropriate things to someone, don't you know God was there? He heard it. He was in the midst of that mess. Repent. Ask God to forgive you. Don't waste time. Turn. Turn from your wicked ways. Don't let the devil have legal territory over you. Don't allow him to have legal ground and access to you when you could shut him down with your daily confessions by repenting him and decreeing, declaring the power of the blood of Jesus as your portion and speaking your faith. Amen. Believing that God is your help, believing that he could deliver you from the tormenting spirits, from the spirits that comes to defile and harass you. Don't you know God can do it again and again? Hey, you got to get right. To believe that you are right. Hey, well, praise God. If you've been listening, I'm your host, Jacqueline King. Amen. Prophetic utterance. It's a blessing to bring forth the word, the gospel of truth. May God be your help. May God be your portion. Amen. May you do great things in his name. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you have the ability To cast out demons in his name because you believe in him. You believe in Jesus Christ. And those who believe in him, these signs will follow them. Amen. So I just pray that this word has ministered to you. That this word has helped you. I pray that God will send forth your helpers. Assign them to you. I pray that you will be consistent with the word of God, that you will continually pray no matter the circumstances and the situation, that you will continually heap hot coals on your enemies' heads, that you will remember that God avenges, not you. May God be a blessing to you. And like I said, I'm your host, Jacqueline King, Prophetic Utterance. I'm here every Monday on Christ Family Radio Network, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. May God bless you. May God increase you. May God multiply you. In Jesus' name, amen.